Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am with you, Pratim. Friends, today in this video, I am going to give you a very, very helpful health tips. That is, how to cure knee pain at home without taking any medicines. Please now subscribe friends, our channel. Knee pain press is a bell worldwide bell problem and most of the people Indian somehow or, or other is affected by knee pain and especially after 60 years you naturally get most of the people naturally get knee pain now friends knee pain may occur because of a sudden fall of a sudden jerk or sudden twist of the knee and you suddenly you get your knee gets swollen up and you can't walk you can't sit properly if you have to sit you lose control of yourself then again, if you want to get up, you can't get up at once. You have to take help of someone, uh, something or a person. You can't climb steps, nor you can climb down steps. And your normal life is totally ruined. So friends, and it is very, very necessary that you don't allow this knee pain to persist. But because, because if it persists, it may develop into a chronic knee pain and that will be very very difficult to cure so whenever the new knee pain occurs you have to at once take care of it and remove it and get rid of it i will tell you how you can do that i myself have experienced that i can tell you a short story i was walking down the street street and suddenly a cycle came and hit me on the back of my left knee and I started uh, yelling and then I got back home with a lot of difficulty and my knee got swollen up. So one of my friends advised me this regime and I applied it and within seven days I was cured. So because of my experience, I'm not tell you, telling you anything fake. Because of my experience, I wanted to share with you this knowledge now friends other than this with age you you may develop knee pain naturally how it happens i'll tell you simply suppose you have seen the structure of knee pain the structure of the knee joints now see then i tell you this i take two fingers the upper finger and the lower fingers assume this to be the two joints now because of the free movement of these joints you can walk very smoothly and in between these joints there is a simo fluid what does this fluid do it helps to mobilize your knee and it acts as a cushion whenever you walk it is between these two and it makes you walk very freely and without any pain now with age this sinus fluid starts to dry up and when it starts to dry up the gap between this decreases and when, and when it decreases this when you walk friction occurs between the two joints and you feel the pain so it is very necessary you that with exercise you develop the muscles surrounding the knees you develop the muscles surrounding the knee joint so that your joints are stretched and they don't get close to each other even if the fluid is dry out now friends it's my advice that when you develop knee pain with sudden fall or jerk or with don't take painkillers these are as good as taking poison it with prolonged use of painkillers it will damage your internal organs they don't cure the knee pain they just subside it for a few moments for a few time and then it again reoccurs so please don't take this painkillers do this regime please follow this regime and you will get awesome result so friends let's move on and see that how we will do this now the first step is ice compression now take a 
chunk of ice like this. If it is a rounded, it will be a bit easier to grasp it. Now, how you do it? You take water in a bowl and just freeze it. Now, wrap this ice chunk in a cotton cloth. I have used a hand key and you, you may also use a hand key or a very thin cotton cloth. Now, suppose this knee of yours is swollen up. Now, what you have to do with ice compression, just rub this ice chunk very gently over the swollen knee. Just like this, rub this over the swollen knee. Just like this, rub this. And you have to rub this until the ice totally melts. Until the ice totally melts. Now after some time, say about six to uh, th two to three minutes, what you will find that this part of yours is getting red. Don't be worried with it. Why it happens? Because with this compression, the muscles and the tissues starts getting soft and blood rushes in to this part. Thus, rice, just rub the rice very gently as you apply soap on your body. See, this part is getting reddish because the blood is rushing into this part. Now friends, please remember that when you take ice compression, you take it two hours before bath, taking your bath or at least two hours after bath. Don't do this and go to the bathroom to take your bath. It will be detrimental very detrimental you see this part is getting red you no know? apply this at least twice a day apply twice a day and mind you that when you get a swollen knee or knee is injured don't by mistake take any hot compression it will be detrimental and your pain may increase. So friends, this way you have to take the ice compression. Now friends, after you have applied the compression, now it's time to exercise. Now friends, remember one thing, it is very important, that after you finish applying the compression, you have to start the exercises immediately. It's not that you have you exercise after one hour. You have to immediately start doing the exercises because after applying the comp uh, ice compression, your uh, pain will subside very to a great extent, and your muscles and tissues will become soft, and it will be very easier for you to do the exercises. So, friends. Let's move on and see the first exercise. Now friends, first take a towel. Now I have made a first fold. This is for the first exercise. You can see I have made the first fold. Now you have to again fold it like this. Fold it. Again give another fold. And then just roll it. It will look just like a Swiss roll. All of you have seen and also eaten a Swiss, Swiss roll. This looks like this, a Swiss roll. Now, now stretch your one leg like this on a flat platform. The platform should be flat and your heels should be touching the surface. It should not be raised from the surface. Now, place this towel beneath your knee or under your knee just like this okay this is the first exercise now with your this knee just press the towel just press it like this 
hold it for 6 seconds and then again leave it. Do it until the point you feel the pain. Again, press it just like this. Mind it, your heel should not be raised from the surface. Press it, hold it for 6 seconds and then again release it. Now, you have to do, do this exercise 5 times on each leg to start with. Remember, you have to do it on both your legs, even on the leg that is not affected. Now, after 2 or 3 days, when your pain, pain subsides a bit, do it for 10 times, 10 times and then 15 times, 15 times maximum. So friends, this is the first exercise. Now friends, for the second exercise, what you have to do is again, place your leg on a flat surface like this with your heels touching the surface. Now, you have to contract your knees and the thigh muscles. Just like this, contract it, hold it for 6 seconds and then release it. Again, contract it, hold it for 6 seconds and then again release it. Keep in mind your heel should not be raised from the surface. What it will do is it will make your muscles surrounding the knees and your thigh muscles strong which will help the knee joint to be stretched. Do this exercise on both legs to start with 5 times on each leg then increase it to 10 times on each leg and then to 15 times on each leg maximum and we have to do it twice a day. Now for the third exercise what you have to do is you have to sit your on a surface from where your legs will hang. It should not touch the ground. Just see it should hang and it should not touch the ground. It may be a tabletop, a tool, a bed, anything from where your legs would hang. Now slowly raise your leg like this to the extent you can, to the extent that you don't feel the pain. Hold it for 6 seconds and then release it. Again on the other leg, raise it, hold it for 6 seconds and then release it. To start with, you have to do it 5 times on each leg, increase it to 10 times and then to 15 times. What it will do, it will make your knees flexible because when your knees get swollen up, and is injured your muscles become very stiff so with these exercises it will make your knees very flexible so that you can walk properly so friends these are the three exercises that you have to do regularly now friends listen very carefully when your pain subsides stop the ice compression when your pain subsides, stop the ice compression and continue with the exercise. Now again, after about one month or two months, you can exercise for only one time, once a day. But do continue with your exercise because once the knee is affected, that pain may reoccur if the muscles are not toned up. So, Please shrug off your laziness and please spend just about 15 minutes every day to perform the exercises to lead a hassle-free life. Otherwise, friends, your life will be ruined with this knee, knee problem. You, can, you won't be able to carry on with your daily routine. So friends, hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I think it will be very helpful to you. So please, please, please subscribe my channel, like and share. Thank you for watching my video and keep watching my videos. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please like and share.